Hey guys, so the autopsy results for late Gatwiri are finally out and uh, we finally know what caused her death. So according to the autopsy report, the late Gatwiri passed on from positional asphyxia with brain oedema and the postmortem was done at Kenyatta University Funeral Home. Well, according to an update shared by her family and friends, a full toxicology will be done to rule out possible poisoning and or intoxication. Well, I'll just read uh, the official statement by the family following the untimely demise of our beloved friend, sister and despian Brenda Gatwiri, a postmortem was conducted to ascertain the cause of her death. On Friday 30th, October 2024, pathologists conducted the postmortem at Kenyatta University Funeral Home in the presence of her family. Below were the findings. The late Gatwiri passed, passed on from positional asphyxia with brain oedema. A full toxicology will be done to rule out possible uh, poisoning or and or intoxication. Burial plans are underway. The exact burial date will be communicated by immediate family in due course. Thank you for your patience. Rest in peace, Gatwiri. Positional asphyxia occurs when a person's body position pre prevents them from breathing properly. It can happen when someone's mouth or nose is blocked or when their chest can't fully expand. If a person can't escape the position, they can die very quickly. Well, causes can include allergic reactions, drowning, and foreign objects blocking your airways. Brain oedema, on the other hand, is excess accumulation of fluid in the intracellular spaces of the brain. Well, this typically causes impaired nerve function, increased pressure within the skull, and can eventually lead to direct compression of brain tissue, blood vessels, and uh, the symptoms include headaches, nausea, vomiting, seizures, drowsiness, vis visual disturbances, dizziness, and in severe cases, death. Well, Gatwiri was a well-known content creator and actress, and the sad news were confirmed on October 31st by her friends and colleagues who mourned her untimely death. Gatwiri had uploaded a short video on her Instagram page on Wednesday, October 29, 2024, and her death came as a shock to many. She was known for amusing comedy skits, which she shares on various social media platforms and YouTube. Well, in a previous interview, Gatwiri revealed that she studied education at university but chose not to pursue it as a career, saying she had lost passion for the field. Gatwiri's signature Meru accent became a trademark in her videos. Well, our deepest condolences to the family and friends, and may her soul rest in eternal peace. Hi guys, Najom Mekwam Kinulizia, it's me, Mary Mera. I'm here. And nilikuwa nimebadilisha jina but nimesema tu let me just talk because nafaa kuwa kipenzi wenu hadi saa hii sababu that was my friend me I viewed I viewed him as my male bestie so me hizo stories zote sijui zilitoka wapi aliniekelea zote and in every situation guys na is our explainia I can explain guys niulize ni swali yoyote mnataka I can explain but si unajua vile wanaume wanakuanga if something that doesn't happen wao wana come up with stories wana kuadibia that is why I had to change my name from Merimera to Gatwiri but honestly guys I can explain hizo vitu zote ni za uongo ask ask people who know me na kama uko na swali ask I can explain every single thing but wanaume muache kuadibia watu majina hivyo akiforia